in today's latest installment of Overcoming Narcissistic Toxic Spews. I've been doing quite a bit of things here since the last video that I produced in our narcissistic abuse. You may be wondering, why am I wearing these sunglasses? As you've seen in the title of the video, the narcissist uses your eyes to figure out your inner disguise. Before we get too deep into the topic, I'd like to announce a few things. Thank you greatly for the 700 plus subscribers that just popped up out of nowhere. I really greatly appreciate you. We're on our way to a thousand and I cannot wait to do super chat with you guys because I have so much inside of here. I will soon be producing the next video that will come up to be the number one Bluetooth. It's a recommendation from me to you in order to get rid of the toxic spew of the narcissist that does upon me and you. The Bluetooth is one of the other tools that you can use in order to defeat the narcissist abusiveness. In order to defeat them from constantly making you feel like you are nothing. Because that is their ultimate goal. To make you feel empty inside. I'm here to guide you into the direction that you're going to need in order to not only succeed, but get beyond further and leave the narcissist behind wondering what happened. Leaving them there to ponder and figure out what went wrong and understand that what they did was wrong. Second thing I'd like to produce to you. I've been working on this animation at the same time as working on the ebook. I'm 752 minutes in it, including working and doing all sorts of stuff and living my life. I've been producing a lot. And also, the book will have video. So you'll be able to push a button and hear a voice, the page, and understand certain things about what's going on with a certain chapter that may be giving you a bit of difficulties to understand. Now, <clears throat> this right here is a sneak preview of what the narcissist truly has intentions for you. Or what the narcissist really thinks of you. Sneak preview of what is to come. Let's begin. The narcissist uses your eyes in order to break you down. In order to figure out what state of mind you're in. And in order to See if it's a good time to implement their scheme of which they really ultimately have been pondering on, on the sidelines. <clears throat> Your eyes give away a lot of things, as I've said in my other video. But I'm here to get deeper into how to control your eyes. You see... You guys have did what I w have asked. And so it's within me to give you a bit of an understanding of how to execute these 
few traits and skills. Because it'd be too much for me to put into this book. There is a chapter in the book where it goes deeper into it. But I'm going to begin with your first, I'd say, shield from the attack from the narcissist. You're not always going to have shades all of the time. And especially if you're a woman, most of the time you don't want to wear shades because you think it is a weird thing. And honestly, it would kind of look weird. But if you are dealing with the narcissist that you've had for years, for years, okay, and for example, you have to go out to dinner with the narcissist and you're over 18 or whatever, um, it is wise and I truly advise you to get a pair of sunglasses. <clears throat> now, I had recently went out with some elderly narcissists. And during that time, I had to postpone my book and whatever. And I was so enraged um, within myself, but not the type of enrage that you would think. Not like I wanted to defeat them or anything. But I was enraged by the fact that it is fun for the narcissist to see you um, exposed. It's fun for the narcissist to call out what you like and <clears throat> sort of make fun of it. Now, mind you, if you're at this stage and level of been dealing with the narcissist, <clears throat> uh, you personally do not talk to them. That will be another video coming up soon. Remember, I have six videos that will be coming up back to back. Um, meaning, meaning like two or three days in a row, in space, in between. You need to learn how not to talk to the narcissist. You have to learn how not to talk to the narcissist. Some of you, it is normal to do that, okay? It's normal for you to go about your life not talking. But if you have to be around a certain person, work wherever, building, wherever, it doesn't matter. It's a narcissist that you are always around. You're going to have to learn how to hold your tongue. Now, back to the sunglasses and how they use your eyes. During this dinner, I had finally came to the conclusions to wear this because I, once again, had a week of destructive, toxic, um, just an array of just poo sprayed onto me, just like sprayed onto me all week, all right? <clears throat> and it was a week prior to uh, me trying to get away for a vacation, which wasn't a vacation, but to write my book, which I got, by the way. And that would be a second video of how to manipulate your narcissistic boss in order to get your vacation time. <clears throat> now, <laughs> I was so enraged, and you're wondering why I'm holding this piece of paper. Uh, because I had to get this out. I was forced to not only go and have dinner with the elderly narcissist, but was forced to stay about three or four hours. Thank God I brought my tools with me. Now, we're going to read this first one. People have no clue what to say about you when you're wearing these. All right? Now, that's a very key thing to know. You see, they're going to say something about you. But you see, as I'm wearing this, there's an added sense of mystery towards me. That you don't know how I'm feeling, and you almost feel as though I'm not human. And so therefore, there's no connection, and you really don't have anything to say, but just I am that of human. You see, I didn't realize this until I had an epiphany. 
I was so upset throughout the day of working with the narcissist uh, that I realized while I had my shades on, they were looking and couldn't figure out if I was angry or upset. <clears throat> and so this bothered them. And they cracked a little smile on the opposite end of where they stood as a sense of, oh man, <laughs> this worked. So I knew it got to them. And um, I'm spreading my theory from me to you. <clears throat> the second thing we have here is you now don't have to say a word. You see, the shades add depth. Now, depth is something that is necessary in order to avoid the narcissist game, okay? When the narcissist looks at the object and knows that the object is similar to a wall, that's why it's called gray rocking, and that animation will be coming up right after the what the narcissist truly thinks of you animation. And... When you do gray rock on these particular people, it, it, it is so, it is so damaging and it has to, you have to, you have to let it be known that you're not okay with what they did, okay? It could be something very damaging or words or if they're just playing around, that's all right. But you have to keep this serious demeanor around the type A narcissistic personality person okay the type b you can kind of get along with and they have good intentions for you but the type a they're the most dangerous okay they're very conniving they're very two-faced they have multiple masks and it's a never-ending um it's a never-ending journey of seeing where the trollish narcissistic mentality is because it's it's always morphing always morphing into something different. They're always lava lamping is what I really wanted to say. Their personality is thus of la lava lampish. <laughs> okay, the third one, before we get really deep into what I'm gonna tell you about, about the eyes and how to really psych them out without the shades. The third one would be become very difficult for people to judge you, all right? These, these three things, if you can remember them, you will have a greater understanding of an appreciation of why the shades are important. You see, the shades train the narcissist. That'll be a fourth video also, training your narcissist. I have trained my narcissist very well to the point where when they see the shades, they automatically tone down their hatred. Very, very hard to describe. But just the way, same way you felt when I put back on the shades, there is a void. The outer part of myself, there is a void. Now within me, not only did those shades make me feel good, which you'll experience it also after you get used to it, but within me, I feel a, a, a sense of protection. The protection is uh, so necessary for you to deal with narcissists. You have, must have a coding of peace within yourself um, prior to dealing with the narcissist, okay? Now pay attention to this, this last one. This coding of peace will be projected from here, which in the ebook, I will teach you how to get rid of your anger so easily. You, you will never be, you'll be angry again, but you'll be able to get rid of it like that. But from here to the eyes is where you will see the prize. The narcissist is very keen on eye contact. When you don't look at the eye contact with the, uh, the narcissist, what you're doing is you're giving them leverage on preparing the game of making you feel like crap, okay? 
When you feel like crap, you make mistakes. When you make mistakes, they have the opportunity to lash out at you, um, spit garble at you, you know, stink up the room with the um, array of just accusations and, you know, just um, underlying false truths, you know what I mean? And just made up psychopathic uh, ideas of things that never happen at all. And so the eye contact that they use is so animalistic, okay? And I'm going to try to give you some examples of when it happens and what you need to do. And remember, at the end of what you need to do is this. Ready? When you can learn to relax your left and right and neck at the same time as the negative verbal abuse is coming towards you, if you can learn to do that, mind you, you're not having your shades all the time, but when you can learn to do that, that is similar to that of wearing your shades or gray rocking, right? But the difference between this technique that I'm going to show you and gray rocking and wearing the shades is this. <clears throat> when you are looking, you have to loosen your neck. Your stiff attitude and your stifleness is a sign that it has penetrated. You will see them continue to berate you, okay? Continue to berate you. If you look away, they will continue to berate you. It is a childish mentality, which I have recently discovered. The narcissist has never grown up. They have stayed a permanent character to that of a child. You see, a lot of us got what we wanted. A lot of the narcissists did also. But the narcissist never truly got what they wanted. If you notice, a narcissist always wants you to do something for them. Okay, These people live in a primitive way. We're going to kind of back it up to a thousand to two hundred million years. The narcissist was the, the, the person who kept us alive, okay? Back in the day when there were nothing but woods and trees. See, they kept us alive. I don't know how to really truly explain it, but the personality of that of continuous um, seeking of game, okay, is a primitive thing. It was necessary. How do you think we made it here? That gene, okay, from back in the day, is still amongst us. No, that's why I keep telling you that their purpose is here to give us greater patience. The greater patience comes with greater understanding. And with greater understanding comes greater, greater multitude of just life. Greater multitude of things. Greater multitude of wealth, of, of everything. Because you have an understanding of not just this one personality, but a majority. And so, because of this, your eyes will ultimately either gain you an upper hand and move you up slowly with one increment, teaching them that they can't mess with you, that you're not going to be bothered by their mini tornado of just accusations, a, a blizzard storm of who is this and do that and do this and do that and pointing fingers trying to get you angry, coming very close to you, 
and knowing that their presence is not warranted at this moment, right? Your eyes and body language will be in another video, but we're focusing on the eyes. Your eyes, whether you're, don't let your inner thoughts of negative control your outer view. You have to, you have to use your imagination. When the narcissist is acting foolishly and the tornado is whirling, look at it as a play, okay? There's a, there's a play showing right now on TV, something, a movie, and observe this. When you begin to observe and leave yourself outside of the observation, meaning using your eyes only and relaxing the other things that control you, you will find that the narcissist will be shocked. It will be like you placed a mirror right in front of their face. Very hard to describe, but your, your monotone, melancholy, yet relaxed state of mind and, and if you can add a quirky smile or just something, it will literally turn the off switch off of the narcissist so quickly and you will see the following. It'll either be a scratch of the head, a look away, especially a downward look away. Because they're ashamed. They're ashamed that now they have seen themselves. You cannot allow yourself to... Let the tornado's inner stuff flip you around. When the tornado starts to flip you around, enjoy the ride. Stop trying to grab on to that of what is not there. You see, when the, the toxic spew and the accusations is upon you, do the following. Think about it. Is this really life? or death are threatening. Is this going to stop me from making my money the next action that I do? Or wealth? Is this going to stop me from acquiring something that I've been wanting for so long? You see, your eyes, when you give it to them, which they're asking for it, and I forgot to tell you that, when they start Waiting, pounding, trying to get your attention. Sometimes you'll be really far away and they're pounding and they're getting crazy. If you're far away, take your time. When you do get to them, be as if nothing has happened. They're expecting you to come in with a fit, with a rage, with an argument. You cannot lose your self-dignity. Remember, it is, there's no one to critique the narcissist, all right? So therefore, because they have the option to do or not to do, they, for some reason, choose to be the negative person that they can be. And they don't realize that they're being judged. Realize this. If you've made it this far throughout my journey, I wanted to let you know something. You have to make memorance of these times of, of craziness. And if you can, get a journal. Because you're judging them. Be the judge. This last and final bit of clue will make you laugh. I did this experiment with two narcissists. As they are getting crazy and wild, I have done the following. I 
literally took out of my pocket a pack. And as they were talking, mind you, keeping eye contact, you didn't do this, not me talking, but the narcissist. You didn't do that. You're always not doing this. And what did I tell you about that? This isn't right. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You're not going fast enough. My goodness, it's been so long. See, this is why this happens. It's because of you. While they're doing this, You see, when you're writing down <laughs> this will happen. You will see a spike of their anger for a few moments. And you will see them trying to get behind you to see what you've written. You can either have done the the following two. You can either write down the ideas that you've been wanting to get out of your head, or two, <clears throat> write down the actions of which you see them do. Now, when you write down the actions of what you see them do, bear in mind, they're going to try to see what you have written down. So you have to use code words. For instance, <clears throat> I like to write down NPD as code word for the narcissist in question. This right here confuses them. You see, <clears throat> they, the narcissist, do not have an inner self of an inner self. The narcissist doesn't understand that you have enhanced the person you're targeting. You have made them acquire a sense of knowledge and a self of self-independence to such a greater proportion that uh, the mere fact of even acknowledging their existence, meaning me or you towards the narcissist, is irrelevant. Uh, when you get to this stage of learning, which uh, I understand you're going through a lot of crazy stuff, but when you get to this stage of understanding, the narcissist will see that you have evolved. And so they will try their hardest to see what you've written. And leave it laying around or whatever. But make it a habit. And this is why you make it a habit of writing down as they're spewing and making eye contact to make it obvious that you're writing either about them or something you're trying to remember. These two things will is the reasoning one. One, when you write down every single thing that you, the narcissist is complaining about or whatever, <clears throat> you can either enhance yourself, that way you can bog their complaints all the way down to a nil, or the following. <clears throat> you train them to not talk as soon as they start spewing out. The first two or three times of you whipping out your notepad, it will be um, something new to them. So they may carry along for a little bit, but they'll start to see the trend of you whipping out this thing every single time. So after the tenth time, you'll see that as they're blah, 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 you're like, and they're like, um, just do you think you can help me get something? I was calling your name from a distance. And as you're getting ready, you know, you realize that they don't want to give you any more material. The narcissist hates when you win, okay? They hate it. They don't like when you're winning. And you are winning by studying. They don't like when you're learning stuff. When you're learning and studying with your eyes and downloading their whole way of being, they're figuring that you're figuring them out. And sooner or later, their toxicity will backfire like that of 
another septic tank overflowed by their own crap. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, I really appreciate you pushing that subscriber button, man. When I make it to a thousand subscribers on my Super Chat channel, I will be doing a giveaway. I have about two or three of these Samsung tablets that I'll be giving away for my thousand subscriber count. And I really appreciate it. Um, these here have helped me create so many different things and I recommend it for you because I want to see you produce some videos also as a reply to me and this will help you to do it so um, stay tuned thanks for hanging in there remember uh, I have a second channel also it is a bit of peace I will give you the link below and there goes the thumbnail for what the channel's thumbnail is. And um, I greatly appreciate you. Just stay tuned for that contest and let's get this thousand subscriber thing going. I can't believe that I've made it this far and I can't wait to produce this book. And I promise you I won't take this much of a hiatus for too long. I just, the book is really important to me because... I need you guys to understand that in order for you to win in life, you have to have a relaxed approach. And that's why the key relaxation is in that book. Stay tuned.